Hello, um, I'm Hannah and I'm gonna film a book haul today. Okay, so I have a stack of books that I have managed to collect. I This will be the second time that I filmed this video because I kept getting more books. So I guess I'll try to start chronologically, which would be the bottom of the stack, of course. I went to Barnes & Noble and bought some books. Am I missing one? Yes, where'd it go? I bought four books, two of which I know, I guess I would say anything about, and then two I have no idea. So I have The Awakening and Other Stories by Kate Chopin, Chopin, I don't know, but it's yellow, very bright yellow. It goes with my, um, with these, with my collection of Barnes & Noble classics in that edition. So that's cool. I'm excited. I'm still collecting these. I keep adding, keeps growing. There's a lot. And then the other one that I don't know anything about is The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. Makes me uncomfortable how this rhymes, but that's just me. This was on clearance, so I got this for $8, which is cool for a hardback. Um, I don't tend to read, like physically read thrillers. I usually do audiobooks, but I thought it would be fun to try something out. I do kind of like this cover. This couch just flopped out on the ground next to me. Hi, Mama. So I have, those were my two hardcovers, and then I have two paperbacks. One, the first one is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I did already read this one. I listened to the audiobook and really enjoyed it enough that I bought this. This is about Daisy Jones and the 80s, right? No. 60s, 70s era, her being a singer, joining a band, and the like sex, drugs, and rock and roll. What are you doing? Scout. Okay, she's just hiding. She's being very odd. She makes me uncomfortable. So I did already read this one, but I know the TV show's coming out at some point. It, it is a thing that is going to happen. So. Why not have this one? Although I did buy this and then found a cheaper hardcover at Half Price Books, of course. But we have this. So I will keep this. Even though I don't really like paperbacks. Not a paperback person. That's just not, not the vibe for me. And then the last thing that I got from Barnes Noble was The Little Friend by Donna Tartt. Now I have all three of her books kind of all over the place on my bookshelf. Um, I don't know much about what this is about, but I do know Donna Tartt, so I'm thinking I'll enjoy it, question mark? I did, I liked The Goldfinch more than The Secret History, so I don't know which one this is more similar to, but we have it, and I will read it. Oh my god. I went to a lot of places, and so I'm trying to keep them together, but it doesn't really work for me, so I'm having a hard time. I went to a local-ish bookstore, it was like 30 minutes away. I spent the day doing stuff, and so I got this, which I think we're actually going to be reading instead of Dark Witch Watch it, Walking by Kim Harrison. This is Dark Prince by Christine Fian. This is just a paranormal romance mass market paperback, which I hate, but I got it for the aesthetic. I don't know. I went into the store, couldn't find anything to buy, and I was able to determined through the internet that this is the first book in a series so I wanted to get something so I got this one and then Morgan bought it so I think we're gonna read this instead of the other one because we both started it and didn't like it so I think we're gonna read this for March which means I gotta read it soon because March is almost over hooray and then I went to half price books I got two books one of which I gave to Morgan because I already had it um, so she has that one now and then the other one that I got was Cersei by Madeline Miller. This is about the witch sorceress Circe from the Odyssey. What? What? Yeah? She usually likes to rub her face on my tripod, so if it moves, that's why. Okay, so this follows Circe from the Odyssey, and was really interesting. I have already read it. I read it when it came out, but I got the hardcover and this is the book of the month edition, which I don't know what that means, but it's all over the cover. So that's cool. And then the next place that I went was Target and I got 
a book from Target. I have the new Sarah J Mass. This is House of Blood and Earth, Crescent City. One of these is the series, right? Which one? I don't know well enough. Haven't even... I did open this to see how many pages it was because it seems small. Like I have bigger books than this, but the paper seems very thin. So it's like almost 800 pages, I would say. It, yes, I will work on this one. I don't know when. I know everybody is vlogging this. Would it be interesting to vlog me reading it? I don't know. I don't know. Let me know because probably by the time this will go up, I will not have read it yet. But I have this. It does look very big compared to my head, which is already big on its own. And then I went to two more bookstores with Morgan two days ago. Yes, two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. And I'll show you those. Okay, so I got two new books by authors who are not new to me. I have The Midnight Lie by Marie Rutowski, which has a very pretty cover. And I took a picture at the patisserie that we went to right next door with like my tart or maybe just my tea in front of it. But this is about a girl named Niram, and then she lives in a dangerous town. She has low status, um, but she meets a rakish traveler named Sid. It seems very, um, like, basic YA fantasy, quote unquote, but it is gay. And then, got another book from the same bookstore, which I can't remember the name of right now. But I got Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Steve Otter. This is the companion series to The Raven Cycle. It's called the Dreamers Trilogy. And it's about Ronan. And I do think, to be completely honest, that his storyline was more interesting than the rest of it. So I'm kind of excited to see what happens. I do have the audiobook right now, like, on hold. But I have this because it's also pretty. You know what? I haven't looked at any of the... Uh, Covers. I do like the spine, the red, and then it's just black, and then embossed into it, it says the Dreamer Trilogy. Hi. What do you think of that? What do you think? So I'm excited for this one. All of these books I have not touched, which is super fun. Good for me. Okay, last two, because we're almost done. I got another one. You thought I was done. We're not. I got the Scarlet Letter from Half Price Books. It was. $5. It was half price, which is super exciting for me. Um, just kind of felt like a treasure find. Was I... The, okay, I will say the one thing that I'm looking for every time I go into a used bookstore is the hardcover version of Dark Lover by J.R. Ward, which is the first book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series, which is impossible to find for less than a hundred fucking dollars, which I don't want to spend at this point in my life. But I was able to find this one, so this kind of felt like a... You didn't find that, you'll never find that, but here's the other series you're collecting for $5. So this will go over here. I haven't put this... The Awakening has been up here. I put it right there between my pink and blue. But this one, I can't decide if it's darker or lighter than Frank's. It's on the floor now. But that's that one. And then, speaking of the Black Decker Brotherhood, I did get one. I got The Beast um, for $10, which isn't super bad, but not my favorite price. For the, But this is actually, I will say, one of the newer ones. I would say, like, after number 10. So between, if there's 17 books out right now, then it's higher, higher up. So for a hardcover that was originally $28, not bad. So I have The Beast, which I've already read, and will go on my, on my shelf. Let's look at what this one looks like. It does have, oh, it's silver. Not what I was expecting. Ow, I'm gonna get um, guillotined by this book cover. So that's fun. If you've gotten any books recently, if you've read these and had any thoughts, if you have any thoughts in general and want to share them with me, I am also on Twitter. Um, I tweet once a once a year, 
so that's fun i'm having a good time over there i have lots of links down below um i'm part of a book club slash thing that i'm doing with my friend morgan but, so that's all that i have today check the links down below for all the nonsense and i will see you guys next time bye